share with you. Dear Jerry, congratulations on achieving the rank of Eagle Scout. The Eagle Scout Award represents a great deal of hard work and accomplishment on your part. You should be very proud of this and all your other achievements. I know I join your family and friends in extending my heartiest congratulations on this occasion and my very best wishes for your continued success in all your future endeavors. Sincerely, Susan M. Collins. And she was a Girl Scout, made it all the way up to the rank of gold level, and I present that to you on her behalf. Thank you. Also, we have from the Kennebec Valley District, the, oh, that's this is the Eagle Award. Where's the, uh, the other one is, yeah, it's in your book. There is a certificate from the uh, uh, Advancement Committee uh, for uh, attaining the rank of Eagle to give one out for uh, every single Eagle that uh, comes through Kennebec Valley District. If you look at scouting, the motto is be prepared. Two words sums up everything we're trying to do in scouting. Be prepared. Doesn't say what for. Just says be prepared. I was at a summer camp when I was younger than Jared was. I took Wilderness Survivor Burbank. And I was probably about 13 or 12 years old. And um, it was a beautiful August day. There was about 15 of us that took the merit badge. And we went to a remote part of camp. Now back then we had to build a shelter and stay in it overnight. Uh, and the counselor brought food in case we couldn't catch our own food and, and cook it and eat it. Uh, but we did. We did manage to catch a snake or two uh, and some frogs, and we had that. Uh, gorgeous afternoon, it was beautiful. Uh, everybody got their shelters up, it was fantastic. We set up little fires, uh, everybody, everything was going great. The counselor was about Jared's age, and uh, he was cocksure that he knew exactly what to do. Well, as happens in summer, especially at summer camp, the best laid plans went awry when nature decided to change courses. Uh, I don't know if you've been on any camping trips like that, but <laughs> instead of the nice sunny day, it turned into a horrible cloudy night, and the clouds soon gave way to storms, and it rained, and it rained, and lightning came, and soon all the shelters that we had built were gone, decimated. I mean, they were nice enough in nice weather, but they were just not prepared for that kind of weather. And the lightning had started some ground fires in the area. And then Kevin Houlihan, who was in my troop, uh, got a little too close to the fire and ended up burning his shoe around his foot. Um, but all through it, the counselor, Gary Constantine, he handled it all well for a 17-year-old. He knew what to do to get the, the scouts organized and set up a shelter for all the scouts. He brought a tarp and used that for an emergency shelter for all the scouts and took care of Kevin's foot and made sure that everybody survived the night. And the camp, over the hill, they'd come with some military vehicles that they got surplus from Vietnam era, and they had put out the, all the ground fires and everything else that started from the lightning strike. But that's the thing about life, and that scouting wants to prepare you for. You have no idea, at any given day, what's gonna happen. I mean, you start out you with the best plan that it's gonna be a fantastic day. Everything's gonna go swimmingly. But in scouting, they want you to be prepared because it's not gonna be a perfect day. So what they do is all the training, all the leadership opportunities, all the camping trips where things go horribly awry or it rains on you or your tent falls over or you've got a loud snoring uh, tent mate or somebody gets hurt or injured. So they have all these badges that they teach the scouts how to move forward with. Jared's got 27, 28 of them. 12 of them are required for Eagle now, including the last one, which is Cooking Merit Badge. 
Was that the last one you got? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so they have many merit badges that the boys have to earn to become an Eagle Scout. And those are the things, the skills, that every boy who wants to advance to Eagle, scouting says, look, these are the things you should know before you leave scouting that are going to help prepare you for what life is going to throw at you. So you've got emergency preparedness. You've got cooking rare badge, because a scout should know how to feed himself when he leaves. You have citizenship in the nation, citizenship in the community, citizenship in the world, so that you can become a leader in your community, like Representative Evangelist or Senator Merriman. They have badges that teach you about family life, so that you know that your job is to make sure that you're taking care of your family. And how to survive life, personal fitness, personal management. So no matter what life throws at you, scouting wants you to be prepared. I look forward to not the days when things go horribly wrong for you, and I hope you have many days where things go exceedingly well for you. But at least I know that scouting has prepared you for when they don't. So congratulations on making me go.